Hi guys, so I'm going to read Tales of Suspense number 42. So hold your breath, here comes Iron Man. See what happens when a deadly foe of Iron Man learns his real identity. Iron Man, you've blundered into the late barbarian's trap. This is your finish. Iron Man trapped by the red barbarian. Iron Man, you dare to come here. What where doom awaits you? Hold your fire, barbarian. You have a surprise coming to you. And you, dear reader, have a shocking surprise coming to you too. As the knight in shining armor walks straight into this, the greatest danger he has ever faced. Plot Stan Lee, script R. Burns, art Don Heck, lettering E. Thomas. One night at an East Coast dock. Well, comrade, we did it. We not only learned about America's newest atom bomb, but we stole the bomb itself. Yes, Gregory. We will receive the thanks of the Red Barbarian himself for this piece of espionage. Wait, before we store the crate in the hold, I'd like to take another look at the weapon. Why not? It is easily opened with a crowbar. There it is. I heard it has revolutionary new elements of design. And you hear right. Iron Man! The FBI wanted to count catch you spies red-handed. So we baited our trap with a phony hollow bomb, containing only yours truly. We've been tricked! Shoot him! But before the commies can fire, Iron Man pulls a tiny transistor-powered device from his accessory belt. Sorry to disappoint you characters, but it's you who are going for a ride. This gadget is magnifying the power of that magnetic crane a hundredfold. So what? So this... Its first effect will be able to jerk your guns upward so that you will fire harmlessly into the air. Then the weapons themselves will be drawn to the magnet, and you with them. I'd advise you not to let go of your guns. It's quite a drop to the deck below. You're wielding an iron costume. How come you're not drawn upward? My metal clothing contains alloy with reject magnetic attraction. Now go, don't go away because soon... You'll have the admiring audience of FBI agents. And brief minutes later. Good work, Iron Man. Thanks to your cleverness, another commie spy ring has been rounded up. Yes, but our job is far from finished. I'm sure the Red Barbarian must be planning new mischief. The Red Barbarian? That's the name of a top Red General, noted for his brutality. He controls this vast commie spy network, and heaven help the undercover man... Who flubs an assignment? Where, where's the Red Barbarian's headquarters? Somewhere behind the Iron Curtain. But I can't talk anymore. My transistors are running down. I gotta recharge them. So long for now, boys. Soon, in a deserted alley near the waterfront. There, all recharged. Oh, there, all recharged. Now to switch to my secret identity as Anthony Stark. Speaking of the Red Barbarian. I bet his agents are dying to find out what, what's going on behind the walls of my lab. Little does anyone suspect that my entire Iron Man garb is collapsed and concealed in this ordinary attaché case I'm carrying. And little do the commies know that I'm working on my greatest weapon, a pocket-sized disintegrator ray. Of course, I haven't perfected the ray yet, but even so, the enemy spy who learns it, secret will become a national hero. An hour later... Out of town. But what spy can get through the heavy guard the U.S. Army has thrown around my plant to make sure nobody and I leave, enter or leave the lab? Next day in the lab's proving grounds. Now, gentlemen, you'll see how my disintegrator ray works. Notice it can be installed in a common flashlight case. Aim it at a monster tank and the tank instantly vanishes. Bzzz. Focus its beam on a two front thick wall. And instantaneous vaporization. No earthly substance can withstand the effects of this ray. Amazing! You can easily see that if the ray were enlarged, in a split second, it could wipe out a fleet of enemy battleships, or even a great metropolis. Of course, my ray still has a few bugs in it. Consistency of performance, enlarging problems, and so forth. But when this weapon is perfected... Perfected? I still can't believe what we've already seen! Do you know that the Reds would probably give up half of Asia if they could steal the plans 
for what you've invented so far? You know something, General? I believe they would. And indeed, at that very moment, at a red satellite country at the headquarters of the Red Barbarian. Excellency, we have sensational news. Our spies from America report that the famous inventive genius Anthony Stark is working on an astounding new weapon to make America invincible. So, where are the plans? Well, sir, uh, the plans are not so easily procured. A huge security guard surrounds Stark's laboratory. Idiot! Did you ask what... Did I ask you what the obstacles were? But, Excellency, Vukov spoke the truth. Not even the mounts can enter Stark's plant without being detected by the security guards. Another apologist for failure. Come here. I've got a good mind to have you shot, you blundering incompetent. But, sire, we cannot do the impossible. We cannot make ourselves invisible and steal the bull blueprints from under Stark's nose. Fools, traitors, I do not ask how to steal vital secrets. All I want are results. Now get out of my sight, you spineless dolts. Blam, blam. You are well named, Red Barbarian. I have flown a thousand miles to visit you, and what do I find? You are in a drunken rage, about to execute your staff. It can't be. You're here? Who then should you visit you? Stalin's ghost? Relax, my general. I'm not here to trouble you. I came to congratulate you, for you employ the greatest undercover agent in history. A man who can perform miracles. Bah, I have no such man. You are mocking me, comrade. Allow me to in allow me to introduce him then. It is I, the actor, who can use his rubbery face to resemble almost anyone with the aid of a little makeup. That it is not Comrade K. It is amazing. But you can impersonate others. For example, can you? Anyone. I can only see... Uh, have only to see the man for once. Take yourself, for instance. It, it's me? A few days later, uh, the spy arrives in the U.S. by posing as a film star. But Sir Reginald, we thought you were in Italy making a picture. As you see, the rumor was false. I intend to remain in America for a month, turning around incognito. Indeed, I'll be several people before I arrive at Stock's lab. Next day, at a telegraph office in Washington, D.C., send this telegram to Anthony Stark at the address noted and mark it Rush. Whatever you say, Senator. Uh, contact our... S oh, now to contact our spies here. They must help me fake an entrance into a Stark's lab while Stark flies to Washington to a non-existent Pentagon meeting arranged by the actor. Yeah, if you guys want, like, um, my, you could make your part of the personal canon that, um, Chameleon, this is actually the Chameleon, not this guy called the actor. You could probably think, like, um, this guy was the Spider-Man villain Chameleon instead. Because he's all chameleon is also over like a Russian agent too, so yeah, it's you. You probably I'll just do the voice as chameleon. So presently at the underscore underground hideout, excellent disguises, comrades. How long will it take our pri private helicopters to touch down at Stark's lab? In about two hours, Hector. Stark should be down on the plane by Washington to that time. Two hours later at Stark's laboratory, Mister Stark. I thought you left for Washington. The Pentagon meeting was called off. Scored us to my private office at once. I have no time to waste. But Mr. Stark, you gave me strict orders that none but you could enter your secret quarters. Well, the day's an exception. These officers are top Pentagon officials. I have no secrets from them. Open the door, please. Minutes later. Go to work quickly. The guard won't bother us. I told him to stand outside till I summon them. Da, actor. We'll each take a filing cabinet, a drawer, a closet, and ransack them till we find the plans. Actor, even if your jo the joke is on me, I must admit you are a genius at impersonation. Your face is worth a fortune. See thou, actor. Have some caviar. 
I want to talk to you. I know what it is, General. I overhauled heard everything from the doorway. You would like to know like someone to steal the plans of Anthony Stark's new invention. Well, you came to the right man. Or rather, the right man came to you. Do you have a photo of Stark? Of course. Moments later. This is child's play for a man of my talents. By Lenin's beard, you are Anthony Stark. You could enter and leave his laboratory at will. No one would challenge you. Correct. And what will be my reward if I return here? With all the plans of Stark's new invention. Anything you wish. Name it and it shall be yours. However, I warn you, Hector. Fail in this mission and I will nail your height to the wall. Nonsense, comrade general. How can I fail? I'll be giving the performance of my life. What? What about Iron? What about Iron Man? I just received news that he broke up another spy ring I'd organized in America. Iron Man doesn't worry me. As a matter of fact, I can even impersonate him. Bah, that is not the same as defeating Iron Man. Nobody in my organization has beaten him yet. Then I shall be the first. A toast, General, to the double defeat of Anthony Stark and Iron Man. Hello? What's this? Various metal spare parts gleaming like gold. Ah, oh, I know what these gadgets are. But, oh. Oh, hello, what's this? Well, various metal spare parts gleaming like gold. Ah, I know what these gadgets are. They are units of Iron Man's costume. Why, this is the greatest discovery of all. Anthony Stark is Iron Man. But I'll tell nobody about my find. It will be my ace in the hole if ever I had to save my neck to redeem some blunder. Hector, look, we found the blueprints for Stark's new invention. It's a disintegrator ray. Great. I'll fight immediately to the Red Barbarian. Meanwhile, you two have a job. You will wait outside. Then when Stark returns from his wild goose chase, assassinate him. Da, actor. But you must think of some way to get rid of this personal guard. And so outside the lab. Uh, take the rest, or take the rest of the night off. My Pentagon friends will remain on guard till I return in the morning. Uh, thanks, Mr. Stark. An hour later, my startling discovery that Stark is Iron Man will remain my secret till the right time arrives to reveal it. Meanwhile, as a baffled genius returns to his lab, I wonder who could have sent me that phony message to attend to an emergency top-level meeting. Get set. Here comes the real Anthony Stark. Greetings, Stark, and farewell. Never again will your genius contribute to our enemy's cause. The bullets are bouncing off him. He must be wearing a bulletproof vest. Zing, zing, pow, zing. They don't know that I'm wearing Iron Man's chess apparatus under my shirt. He's dust the lights, quick. We must get him before he eludes us. Time to change to Iron Man. And so the three hatchet men poke around in the dark. Uh, oh, that, that blackout was Stark signal to me that he was in trouble. And I see he wasn't exaggerating. Yo, it's Iron Man. He's a guard tier two. I just scared the truth out of him. Tell me what you're doing here, or shall I try to make you talk? No, no, don't. We'll tell you everything. It was the actor. He imprisoned you. He stole your plans for the disintegrate array. An hour later at a U.S. missile base. I must use this rocket. Um... The three assassins told me where the Red Barbarian's headquarters is, and when the actor is due to arrive there. Oh, I think... Never mind. No, what I said about earlier about the chameleon, forget that. Yeah, so this guy's different. Never mind. Um, but what if the rocket misfires or the capsule falls? Hundreds of miles from the target zone. It's a chance I've got to take. Rocket travel is the only way I can beat the actor to his destination. So I can intercept him and recapture Stark's blueprints. Wait, he is... What's going on? Wait, so is this the... Who is this? Is this the actor? Rocket travel is the only way... 
Why is he talking about Stark then? Oh. Must be a mistake. Yeah, because he is Tony Stark. Anyway. Okay, Iron Man, good luck. Minutes later. Better pray, man. If Iron Man doesn't retrieve Stark's plans, the Iron Curtain nations will have an unbeatable weapon. Presently. Mm, I'm in orbit now. My attache case is floating weightlessly. But soon a radio signal from a U.S. guidance control center will send the capsule earthward. Then minutes later, fate's with me. I'm only a few miles from the airport where the actor is due to land. And this time I'll be waiting for him. And so, your car, the actor. Thank you, I will drive myself to the general's headquarters. But en route, the actor encounters a strange roadblock. Hold it, actor. We're going to have a nice chat in the woods. Iron Man, it's you. How did you get here? Did, does Kennedy tell... Does Khrushchev tell Kennedy? Sorry, pal. But that's my secret. In the meantime, it'll make a nice cozy cell for you out of this car. Crunch. Say, they don't build them so strong behind the Iron Curtain, do they? Now I'll gag you with your pocket handkerchief so you'll make no outcry. Oh yes, I'll take those plans back for Stark. Ha, ah, he's right to keep this ace in the hole. I always right to keep this ace in the hole. Even Iron Man doesn't realize I know he's Anthony Stark. Soon at the Red Barbarian's headquarters. Look, it's Iron Man! Put down your weapons, fools, and take me to your commander. Let the Red Barbarian decide whether you should destroy me. <laughs> Iron Man, you dare come here? Where death awaits you? Ah, so I fooled you too, eh, General? Sorry, Excellency. But I'm the act. Oh. Aha, uh -huh, so I fooled you too, General, eh? Uh, sorry, Excellency, but I'm the actor. That's how I managed to steal Stark's plans by impersonating Iron Man. Actor, you're a positive genius. And the planes, where are they? Inside this attaché case. Unfortunately, we cannot open it for another four hours because it has a time lock. You know how ingenious Stark is with tiny things? Well, he planted a miniature A-bomb inside that lock. If we open it now, we'll be blown to bits. We can wake. What's four hours compared to the value of the blueprints inside the case? Good, that's what I expected you to say. Well, I'll go home now, General. I can get out of this tin can and four and a half hours from now, we'll open the case together. Wonderful, you did a brilliant job, Hector. We'll both go down in history for this masterpiece of espionage. Soon after, as Iron Man returns to his prisoner. Okay, Hector. You can leave now. Without the plans, of course. Too bad about the plans, but Red Barbarian will forgive me when I tell him that Iron Man is Anthony Stark. Then our spies can finish off Iron Man when he is more vulnerable as Stark. I must escape to the nearest western country while I still have a chance. So I'll use my transistor jet flying power. Soon. General, forgive me for using, losing the planes. But you won't mind so much Iron Man outwitting me. Not when you hear the still more valuable information I have to give you. What are you talking about? Iron Man, he ambushed me and took the disintegrator ray plans with him. But wait till you hear what I know about him. Idiot, where is the Tatashi case? The one with the time lock. What time lock? What case? Iron Man just released me from a metal prison. You're lying. You were here an hour ago impersonating Iron Man. But Excellency, I don't have the plans. So you are trying to deceive the Red Barbarian, do you? You impersonated Iron Man to trick me, to stall for time. So you yourself could dispatch the blueprints to our leader and take the credit. Wait, General. If you saw Iron Man, it must really be him, not me. Oh! Bah, do you think I'm insane to fall for a fan? So fantastic a story. Guard, dispatch this traitor. General, uh, wait, I know who Iron Man is. Wait. <sighs> the actor is gone, Excellency. Hmm, serves him right to try to trick me. Imagine he said the real Iron Man came here to retrieve the plans. That he knew Iron Man's secret identity. By Lenin's beard, what a fairy tale. In the end.
So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, that'd be appreciated. And thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later.